Welcome to this remote control quick tip. I'm putting this quick tip together because I'm getting a lot of questions at the moment from subscribers who are struggling to add minim OSDs to the flight controllers that they're using. Particularly, they're getting a lot of problems with the flight controller initializing, the minim OSD coming on, and then just sitting saying something along the lines of waiting for Mavlink heartbeats. Now, it's worthwhile us talking a little bit about how the Minim OSD works and the different flight controllers that you can connect to to help clear up this confusion. So there are already an awful lot of Minim OSD videos on the channel. Every time I do one, I put them into this Minim OSD playlist. So if you want to find out exactly how you make the Minim OSD work for your flight controller, there's a good chance that we've already done it and it'll be in this playlist. We've done it for things like the Seriously Pro 3, the Multiwee boards, the NASA 32s, the CC3Ds and APMs and others as well. The key here is that the Minim OSD can run lots and lots of different firmwares and what seems to be happening is people are buying the Minim OSD and then just attaching it to their flight controller and ignoring the parts of the video where we actually upload the right firmware on the Minim OSD for the flight controller that it's going to be connected to. And it really boils down fundamentally to one thing, is that the board is trying to hear the wrong protocol. So Mavlink is only used on some flight controllers with some flight controller software, and other boards are using something else. So let me explain what that looks like so that it's clearer for those of you that are about to play with Mavlink or are having this problem. So here on the screen, we have lots of different flight controllers, the majority of which we've actually done series with on the channel. So if you want to find out more about the NASI 32, the APM, PixHawk, CC3D, MultiWii, or the SP3, you can find series on the channel that go into detail. And in the middle is our friend, the Minim OSD, because it will actually connect and run with every single one of these boards, but not with the same firmware. So let's talk about how this actually works. If we were going to connect any of the three boards on the left hand side, we'd actually use exactly the same kind of firmware because all of those boards are actually talking something called the Multi-Wii Serial Protocol or MSP. Now, in a lot of cases that's hidden away and you don't know that's what's actually happening. If you look at the Seriously Pro 3 series, you actually see we're actually selecting that uh, for the on-screen display. So you have to download and use a firmware Somewhere that is expecting to hear MSP. On the other side then we have the APM, PixHawk and CC3D and by default they're all going to talk a different language. That language is the one that you're getting in some of the errors that some people are seeing because they talk Mavlink. So if you have a Minim OSD in the middle that's been supplied running a firmware that's expecting to talk to an APM, PixHawk or a CC3D and hear a Mavlink message, it's going to sit there and wait a very long time if you're connecting that board to a NAS A32, a Seriously Pro 3 or a MultiWii. Now the reason that we actually have these two differences is less to do with the actual boards themselves and more to do with the flight controller software that you're putting on them. So let's take the CC3D for example. In our series we not only used it with the default operating system of OpenPilot, which absolutely talks Mavlink, but we also flashed the CC3D with CleanFlight. If we flashed the CC3D from OpenPilot to CleanFlight, then what will happen is that CC3D will start talking MSP because it's actually the firmware on the flight controller that dictates what language it talks. So in that case, if we're going to use a CC3D and use it with OpenPilot, we'd want a Mavlink firmware for our Minim OSD. And if it wasn't going to be running that, it was going to be running clean flight, then we'd want to connect our Minim OSD with an MSP version of the firmware. Now you don't have to worry too much about all the details in that. What I'd recommend is go and have a look at the actual Minim OSD videos that are there in the individual series for these flight controllers. We go through and talk about the firmware that you have to download, how you configure it, how you flash it, how you then update the fonts, how you configure it and how you connect it up. 
So the reason for the video is just to help you understand that that's the case, because what seems to be happening is lots of people are buying the Minim OSD from eBay and lots of other places, and they're coming pre-flashed with a version of the firmware, which is great that the suppliers are doing that. However, the version of the firmware is board specific. So if you are buying a Minim OSD and it's expecting to hear a Mavlink telemetry message out of the flight controller and you plug it into something like a NASI 32, a Multiwee or an SP3, it's going to just sit there and say waiting for Mavlink heartbeat and that's the problem that you've got. So go back, have a look at the playlist, find the Minim OSD in that playlist for the particular flight controller you're interested in, follow the instructions step by step, don't miss any of the steps out and it should work. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.